Hey, it's Bridget. So it has been a lovely day. It is mid 60s and it's nice and sunny. It hasn't been super windy. I'm coming back out after a nice long bath. Yeah, I took a nice long bath because I had been out earlier and done some yard work. Here, let me fix my phone here. There we go. And I was burning, burning baby, burning. Oh yeah, look at that stump there. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, something so satisfying about it. I'm telling you, I've been working on the flower beds. You can't really call them that. They are uh, have been weed beds for a bit, and so I had to kind of dig through that some stuff and uh, dig out some of the stuff in our front area so I'm gonna start over we're starting over that was my plan so so I was burning some of the brush and the vines and the old dead weeds and old grasses and stuff today and yesterday it was very satisfying however I got a little sore <laughs> my hands a little sore and um, actually my leg it's so weird I must be getting older because <laughs> my like my upper thigh is just oh it's just hurting it's hurting right now so I had it all wrapped up and then I thought I'm just gonna take a bath and soak I had to take I had to do something anyway my legs were a little bit dirty from the work a little sweaty so I thought hey jump in the tub so now I came out and I saw I was gonna record for you guys and I saw the fire was still going a little bit just a little so I wanted to make sure everything is okay and here you go. It's something so satisfying. I love the smell of the smoke of the fire. My husband does not like the smell of the smoke of the fire, but I like it. It's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because usually the fire element is something that I will activate or work with on the full moon. And yesterday was a new moon. And I just think it's symbolic of change right now. There's so much change going on. And I feel I'm really, by clearing out the the plants and the flower beds and such and burning that stuff and getting rid of the old and being willing to let go and let change happen and knowing that everything's going to be all bare and empty in the front of the house but knowing that in time things will grow back again and that I'm just having a fresh start is really symbolic it's really connecting into other parts of my life to being a mom and having another kid moving out going away to college this year again Oh, second one. I'll be halfway through the leaving the nest thing. And they come back, though. Let me just tell you, <laughs> if you don't know the story, they come back, you guys. They come back. And again and again and again. And it also is reflective. The, need, the change part is really reflective of my work right now. Again, my business goes through many iterations, as do I. And right now, I'm in a place where I'm starting something fresh and I'm actually going to have a business partner person I'm going to be working with somebody else to start something fresh not sure what it's going to look like or how that's going to all pan out you guys won't see anything related to it for months so don't get too excited I'm still of course doing my work my intuitive coaching work <laughs> still gonna record on the videos on fairy grasshopper my youtube channel for my vlogging and my intuitive topic talks and such and card readings and fun psychic stuff and above life channel hey you can see my shadow hi guys hi hi there Urgh, see my big muscles from exercising today Urgh, pulling out the weeds i did this to my husband i went let's, let's see if i can do i go <laughs> looks better if you could actually see me he was laughing at me he thought it was funny he's like um yeah <laughs> very scary <laughs> not very impressive <laughs> oh, funny anyway so hmm. speaking of that I'm gonna have to send out a client email business has been slow I'm I can't say that I'm surprised but it's been slow. I haven't had very many sessions this month. So I'm going to open up to accept um, some more uh, intuitive coaching sessions for people who maybe haven't done it before. I'm not going to like require you to sign up for a program or a long-term contract or anything like that. I don't do that when I'm doing the work that I do with you. I just 
I just it just doesn't work for me it doesn't fit me not my style and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna be accepting some new clients so if you want to be one of those people if you want to just have a session with me that's an intuitive coaching session this isn't a psychic reading this isn't a channeling session it's not that um, intuitive coaching is working with your intuition your spirit as well as your brain so you show up to session and you I ask you what do you want to focus on what what are you bringing into session today? Do you have a goal or intention? And then you share that. And so that's how we connect with the session. It's not just a, hey, hi, Bridget. So, so who's with me? Who's by me? Tell me what other people say or what my spirit guides say. I'm like, no, you guys can do that eventually yourselves in the long run. For me in private session, what I do is I do intuitive coaching. We got to honor the brain and I don't take your power away. Oh, no, no, no. You have the power. You get to choose what you want to focus on as well as you have the responsibility and the accountability. I mean, you're managing your life. I'm not. You're the expert on you. I'm not. I just get to be in that session with you, help you to connect, amplify what you already know and help you to feel pretty dang good in the process. So it's pretty much intuitive coaching work with Bridget in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, there you go voila um current pricing is listed on my website at abovelifechannel.com also on my facebook page at bridget inspired so if you're interested in that check it out so my question to you in this video in the comments is what are you what is changing for you like what are you letting go of what are you clearing out because you probably are doing some spring cleaning or you know opening the windows decluttering donating some old shoes some old clothes whatever maybe you're burning some old weeds and leaves and stuff or bushes or whatever you're doing like i did see hello big stump there um yeah, share that. I'm curious about what you guys are feeling, how you guys are feeling about stuff. There's a lot of change afoot, and I'm really, I'm really pleased with the vibration below this energy here. This, this most recent clearing round. Oh, the energy below the surface is so good. Oh, it's so good. Finally, we're gonna shift back into a place where us as empaths, we are gonna be able to really just rally and not humble our hearts but honor our hearts and i'm just so looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to sharing that experience with you really very very much and all the cool new videos that will be coming here on fairy grasshopper channel on youtube I look forward to sharing more empath info and empath wisdom in fact if you haven't seen the freddie mercury video i did where he and i talked about people pleasing that's an empath trait let me just tell you i said hey freddie i need to talk to you about empath stuff because i was thinking i need to learn more about this for myself because sometimes i feel like i mean i know i don't know a lot but i've been doing psychic work for like 17 years so i kind of can sometimes be like oh yeah yeah i know i'm sensitive yeah yeah okay Oh yeah, I'm clairsentient. Yeah, I feel other people's emotions. Yeah, that's just the way life is for me. But the truth is, there's always opportunity to learn, grow, and amplify the good. And so I asked Freddie for some advice on that because I thought, who do I know in the afterlife that would be, that's really good with the sensitive stuff, really understands the heart space, and it was totally Freddie. I mean, he was, I mean, hello. He's the first person that comes to mind for me. Boom. Him, Princess Diana would be good. I should talk to her. That would be good because she's very soft, sweet like that too. Um, there's somebody else, but I can't think of the name right now, who it is, that is also kind of has that vibe. Uh, Louise Hay a little bit. She has that too. Um, yeah, for sure. But she's more of an advocate for healing. She really is like just a, hey, let's heal, let's heal. Come on, everybody, heal energy. Um, but she's definitely connected to the empath as well. So, so check out Above Life Channel on YouTube too. Are on YouTube also so that you can see that even you don't have to be a Freddie Mercury fan newsflash okay to get insight from the afterlife just listen it's a it's good he's really good I actually don't do most of the talking <laughs> it's good and that's gonna drive people nuts people that just like drive through and go tell me all the psychic stuff and then they drive on off and then they search like 15 other YouTube sites for that one particular individual that I channel, you know, that I'm channeling that they want to see, hear from, and then they move on. So they get so annoyed when I actually have like a conversation. <laughs> it's not just question and answer. It's kind of funny, actually. I'm trying to have a sense of humor about stuff. 
and not take things too personally. That's another empath thing. I empath thing. Try not to take things too personally. Well, it's hard to do that. So I'll have to have another conversation maybe with Fred about that. Or maybe, maybe Princess Diana, because she, you know, Lady Diana is very, very, very caring and compassionate, but she also has this like incredible grace and strength and integrity about her, like standing up for what she believes in, which I really love and appreciate too. So, all right. If you got anything you want to throw in the fire, go ahead. Just go ahead and put it in there and I'll, I'll just burn it right up for you. Okay, we'll use that fire element. Also here on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, I did a video about the air element. So make sure you check that out. In the months to come, I'd like to get, make sure I do one for all the different elements like water and earth and fire, um, as well as light and do those for you. Um, I don't want to do it like a series. I'm going to do it as I'm inspired to share about the elements with you. Ooh, look at that. Just flipped over. We turned over to another side, you guys. Look at that. We turned a corner. Oh, yes, we have. I wish you guys could smell this. Mmm, love that smell. Okay, so with that, I will wrap this video up, let you go, and I will look forward to checking out the comments. I love to read them on Fairy Grasshopper channels because um this channel because i feel like the people who are here actually really want to connect and communicate and learn more about intuition and spirit and how it really weaves into real life like how does that work out in real life and what it's like for me as a psychic person as a sensitive person as an empath living just a real human life like with kids with the house with dogs with a business all that stuff I think it's helpful for you to see how this really works because I think sometimes you can see these psychics on television or on YouTube, healers on YouTube and stuff and kind of put them into a place where it's like this unattainable perfection of connection or something. And I just want you to see the real, the real life stuff. And so you can understand that, yeah, you can walk through your life being connected and it's not about being perfectly connected it's about alignment it's about letting yourself have those conversations and feel those feelings as things are showing up for you and really focusing on the good because you are the good honestly you are the good and the part of i think our biggest challenge right now is that we have forgotten that we are <laughs> we have stuff's happened to you bad stuff's happened to you people have blamed you for stuff that are, is not your fault and maybe you've just made some dumb choices when you were younger or just been in the wrong place at the wrong time or on the wrong people or given some given somebody like 17 chances you know that kind of thing and you just feel stupid or you feel down on yourself or you feel like you don't deserve love or opportunity or luck or money or any anything and that's just not true that's just not true at the core you're just good and it's time for us to start seeing the good and just letting ourselves just believe that just believe that in you all right, so you guys take care. Have a great day. Sending you lots of inspiration for your spirit. I hope I've helped to fill you with a little bit of hope today. Make sure before you leave, you subscribe to Fairy Grasshopper so you don't miss a channeling or card reading or intuitive topic video or psychic vlog. Psychic real life vlog. <laughs> Is that exciting? Does that help if I make it exciting? Video? <laughs> Just hanging out with me video. How about that? A tools and tips video, because sometimes I do that. Just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that stuff. I like to do at least two videos a week here. I'd like to try to do more if I can, like three. I like to really supplement this channel with Above Life channel too, so that you guys can almost have a video almost every single day of the week. I think that's awesome because that will keep the positive inspiration and hope flowing for you throughout the week. If that's something, if it works for you, if my vibration is in alignment, that's great. I'm really happy to do that. All right, take care, you guys. See you in the next video.